All right, hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing a deep dive into Reese Witherspoon and her son, Deacon Philippe. They've been kind of everywhere lately, you know? Yeah, and we've got a great article here that dives deep into Deacon's 21st birthday and his rising career. Yeah, well, it's uh, pretty fascinating. And I think what's cool about this deep dive is it's going beyond the typical celebrity kid follows in their parents' footsteps. Totally. It's a little more nuanced than that, I think. Yeah, and I think it all starts with that Instagram post that Reese made for his birthday, right? The one with the two photos. The side by side one. Yeah, you know, the childhood photo and then the one from like a recent dinner they had together. And they look like twins. It's crazy. It's canny, right? I love it. But it wasn't just the photos. The caption, too, was really something else. You know, she went beyond just the typical happy birthday. She talked about the joy and wisdom and love that he brings to her life. And you could just feel like the depth of their connection in that caption. Yeah, it's so sweet. And did you see what the fans were saying? I mean, they were going crazy in the comments. They were all saying they look more like siblings. Right. And then, you know, Deacon even commented just a simple love you with a bunch of hearts. Ah. It was just it felt so genuine. Yeah, it really gives you a glimpse into their bond. Sweet. But it gets interesting because, you know, Deacon's dad, of course, is Ryan Phillip. Mm -hmm. And he's got siblings, Ava. His older sister and Tennessee's younger half brother. Okay, yeah. But Deacon's really kind of carving out his own path. You know, he's studying at NYU and he's pursuing both acting AD music. Wow. So he's not just like riding on the coattails of his famous parents. He's really out there hustling, and he's doing it in New York City, no less. Did you see that TikTok video of him giving a little tour of his apartment? It was very West Village vibes, but also like he seems so down to earth, just cracking jokes about the rent and stuff. Totally. I think that video is a really good example of how he's choosing to navigate fame because so many celebrity kids, they try to distance themselves from their parents' legacy and they almost overcompensate. But he just seems very comfortable acknowledging it while still asserting his own like more grounded personality. It's refreshing. And speaking of refreshing, can we talk about Reese for a second? This woman is a powerhouse. Absolutely. She's an Oscar winning actress. She's a producer. She's got her own company. Hello, sunshine. And yet she always makes time for family. It's incredible, right? It's so fascinating how she juggles this demanding career and motherhood. And just with this incredible energy, you look at her social media and it's full of photos of her with her kids. And they often attend events together. Remember when she brought Deacon as her date to the Golden Globes? Yes. And they were at that premiere for Blink Twice, you know, the one that Zoe Kravitz directed, Reese's friend. She clearly just values creating these experiences with her kids, even with her crazy schedule. Yeah, I think it really speaks to her approach to parenting. She understands the importance of being present and supportive, even as her children are becoming adults and are starting to venture out on their own. Okay, so we've got this incredibly accomplished woman who's also like this dedicated mom. And then her son, who's forging his own path. It's inspiring, isn't it? It really is. It really is. And it gets even more interesting when you consider what Reese has said about, you know, the challenges of motherhood. You remember that interview where she talked about becoming a mom at 23 when oh, Ava was born? Oh, yeah. And she was super candid about her anxieties and wondering if she was doing things right mm. and how her role as a mother has evolved as the kids have grown up. That's so true. Okay, I'm hooked. Yeah. I want to take a closer look at how she manages to balance stardom and motherhood because she makes it look easy. Right. You know, I think what's fascinating about how she does it all is it's not just about time management. It's like a mindset shift. She was talking about this in an interview, and she was describing how she used to think, can I be a good mom, 80, have a successful career? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Like, she realized those two things don't have to be separate. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's not about choosing one or the other. It's about finding a way to integrate them in a way that feels authentic and fulfilling. And she really seems to have figured it out. I mean, she even built a whole company, Hello Sunshine, around empowering women through storytelling. Right. They produce movies, TV shows, podcasts, all focused on the female perspective. Talk about putting your money where your mouth is. Mm -hmm. And they've had some major hits too, like Gone Girl, Big Little Lies, The Morning Show. And she's not just acting in these, she's producing them. She's shaping the narratives and she's creating opportunities for other women in the industry. That's huge. I think that's a huge part of her legacy too. It's not just about, you know, the awards or the fame, but the impact she's having on the industry and on the world. Totally. And it's something that Deacon seems to be picking up on too. It's like, he's not just following in her footsteps, he's blazing his own trail. And I think a lot of that comes from seeing his mom's dedication to 
using her platform for something bigger than herself. Oh, for sure. Yeah, he could easily coast on the family name, but he's clearly driven by something deeper. And speaking of which, have you had a chance to listen to any of his music? Because it's really something else. I have, yeah. It's so different from what you might expect from like a celebrity kid trying to make music, you know? It's not generic pop. It's not trying to chase trends. His sound is this really unique blend of lo-fi beats, soulful vocals, and a hint of psychedelic rock. You can hear influences from all over the place, mm -hmm. but it all comes together in a way that feels really fresh and authentic. It does. I was going to say there's this rawness to it. There's like an emotional depth that you don't often hear in a lot of like mainstream music. It's right. Like, he's not afraid to be vulnerable, you know, and to explore these darker corners of his emotions. Which makes sense, right? I mean, growing up with famous parents, constantly in the spotlight, yeah. he's probably had to develop a thick skin. But that doesn't mean that he's not sensitive or that he doesn't have his own struggles. You know, yeah. it, it seems like his music is kind of a way to process those experiences and connect with other people who might be going through similar things. Yeah, it's like he's saying, hey, I'm a celebrity kid, but I'm also just a human being with feelings and experiences that I want to share. And I think that vulnerability is what makes it so compelling. Totally, totally. Yeah. It's like he's not trying to be perfect or polished or anything. He's just being himself. And that resonates with people. Yeah. Okay. So we've talked about Reese's incredible career and her, you know, inspiring approach to motherhood. And we've delved into Deacon's music. So where do we go from here? What's the next layer of this deep dive? I think the most intriguing part is trying to predict where they both go from here. Hmm. You know, right. we've seen Reese as this like powerhouse producer and advocate for women. Yeah. And Deacon, you know, exploring his artistic side. But where does it all go? Yeah, it's like watching these two parallel journeys, you know? Reese at the top of her game, using her influence to create change. And Deacon just starting out, figuring out who he is and what he wants to say. Exactly. So let's put on our prediction hats here for a second. Mm -hmm. Where do you see Deacon's career going? You think he sticks with music? Yeah. Or maybe pursues acting more seriously? Or tries to do both? Oh, that's the question. I mean, honestly, I think he has the talent and the drive to do whatever he wants. Even just looking at his music, you can hear that ambition. He's not afraid to experiment, to push boundaries. And that's the kind of attitude that can take you really far. For sure. And don't forget, he's studying at NYU. So that academic background, I think, could influence his creative choices, too. Mm. Maybe we'll even see him using his platform to advocate for social causes, just like his mom. Oh, yeah. That's a really good point. I didn't even think about that. Imagine him with his unique perspective and his growing fan base speaking out about issues that he cares about. Right. That's a powerful combination. Absolutely. And I don't think it'd be that surprising, especially considering how outspoken Reese is and the value she's instilling in her children. Okay. So we've got Deacon potentially becoming this multifaceted artist with a social conscience. What about Reese? Where do you see her journey heading? She's accomplished so much already. So what's next for someone who seems to have it all? Well, and that's the thing, isn't it? She doesn't seem content to just rest on her laurels. Right. You know, she's always looking for new challenges, new ways to push herself to make a difference. I wouldn't have been surprised if she like moved beyond entertainment altogether eventually. Really? You think she'd leave Hollywood behind? I mean, maybe not entirely, but I could see her you know, stepping into more of a political role, maybe even running for office someday. Remember that time she spoke at that rally for women's rights? She was so articulate, so passionate. She really connected with the audience. Wow. Reese Witherspoon for president. I could see it. Right. She's got the charisma, the intelligence, and she definitely has the platform to make a real impact. Absolutely. And she's already proven she's not afraid to use her voice to advocate for things she believes in. So, yeah, I think a future in politics is definitely a possibility. Okay, this is blowing my mind. But let's say she does stay in entertainment. What kind of projects do you see her taking on next? Hmm. I think she'll continue to champion these female-driven stories. But maybe she'll delve into, like, even more complex and challenging themes. You yeah. know, like a film about climate change or a series that explores the complexities of mental health. She's shown that she has a real knack for tackling these tough topics with sensitivity and nuance. And don't forget, she's a really smart businesswoman. So I could see her expand in Hello Sunshine even further, too. Maybe launching like a streaming platform that's dedicated to, you know, content that amplifies marginalized voices. Well, see, now you're talking. <laughs> I love that idea. Reese Witherspoon, media mogul. Yeah. But... Regardless of what she does, I think it's safe to say she's going to continue to be a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood and beyond.
So we've got these two really fascinating people, each on their own path, but connected by this bond of family and mutual respect. It's really been amazing unpacking their story. It makes me wonder, like, what are the key takeaways here? What can our listeners learn from their journey? Well, I think it's a good reminder that success isn't a destination. It's a journey. Both Reese and Deacon are constantly evolving, mm -hmm. pushing themselves creatively and personally. And I think that's an important lesson for all of us. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not about achieving some arbitrary level of fame or fortune. It's about pursuing your passions. Yeah. And using your platform to make a difference and always yeah. trying to grow and learn. And it's about family. You know, they have this incredible support system. They cheer each other on and they're there for each other through thick and thin. Yeah. And it just goes to show that you can be successful and ambitious and still prioritize your loved ones. You know, in a world that often feels like it's all about competition and climbing to the top, it's refreshing to see a family that truly values connection and support. It really is. So as we wrap up our deep dive, I want to leave our listeners with one final thought. We've talked about Reese and Deacon's individual journeys, but what's even more exciting is to think about how their paths might intersect in the future. Will they collaborate on a project? Will they join forces to advocate for a cause they both believe in? Who knows? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, their story is far from over. That's the beauty of it, right? We get to watch it all unfold yeah. and be inspired by their creativity and their passion and their commitment to each other. So keep your eyes on Reese Witherspoon and Deacon Phillip, folks, because they're just getting started. That's it for our deep dive on Reese Witherspoon and Deacon Phillip. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back soon with another fascinating topic, ready to unpack even more intriguing stories and insights just for you. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep those aha moments coming.